series that I honestly can't even tell you how long it's going to be. I know the first half of it is going to be about 15 to 20 videos. And it's going to be the removal and installation of the engine and transmission and the change of my clutch. This particular video is the building of the engine crew. So without further ado, let's get down to the shop and build some crew. Okay, these are the pieces that are required to make the particular cradle that I'm going to use. Mine is a modified version of another one that I drew up before and I'll put a, a couple of cards in the video after this so you can see all the dimensions of these pieces and all the dimensions of the original. Either one should work. So this is how I made this, this crate, this cradle. Um, this piece here I just got from Home Depot is 3 quarter inch plywood and when I purchased it, it's 24 by 24, okay? I trimmed it down because my little cart that I'll use to lower the engine is only a little over 19 inches. So I trimmed it side to side 19 inches, and that's what this little extra off-ball piece is. So this is 24 by 19, okay? These two pieces are 5 and a half by 24, and these are simply... Uh, 4x4 four four and 2x4 four blocks cut at 6 inches. So this is how it looks when you put them all together. The distance between the blocks, I think, is the most critical distance, and from inside to inside is 9 inches. I've seen three or four different designs, and each time this inside dimension was 9 inches. I'm not sure if there is a, a load that falls on these. I think these are for some kind of a lateral dis, um, support, and there may be a load on these, but the reason I say that, I've seen these all at different heights. Okay, I've seen this height, and I've seen higher. So, in a nutshell, that's how you make a cradle for holding the engine to lower it. Thanks for watching.